this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks You. Welcome back to my kitchen. We are making a amazingly delicious eggnog cheesecake. If eggnog cheesecake does not just tickle your fancy just in that alone, there is going to be in your crust a delicious mixture of toasted coconut and pecans and also my husband's favorite, Vienna fingers. Okay, we are gonna put our cookies right in with our coconut and pecans. Oh my gosh, I think I could just eat the crust alone as a dessert. <laughs> Even just like this sprinkled over ice cream. Oh man, that would be so good. And then we're going to add our butter in. We wanna do that a little on the slow side. Ooh la la. All mixed, and I have a few pieces like this. Do I eat it? I think so. This is going to be an amazing cheesecake. You can use this crust with any kind of cheesecake you wanted. Here is our nine inch springboard pan. I'm just gonna put a coat of oil. Okay, let's get this in. Press it down. And you know, we don't want it, you know, like a high up like a pie, but it's all right if we have a little ledge. And now that I kind of have it evenly distributed, now is when I start pushing it down. Ooh, this is gonna be good. I'm making this for my son's birthday. Since his birthday is around the holiday season, why not? We are gonna bake this at 350 for 10 minutes. On to our cheesecake filling. Oh my goodness. We are putting two bricks of cream cheese. These are eight ounce packages into our mixer. Let's get that all mixed up. So we have all those lumps out. Um, we're still gonna have an opportunity to get some lumps out when we get our sugar and our eggs in here. And speaking of sugar, it is time to add our sugar a little at a time and make sure it's beat well and just add it slowly. Man, oh man, it is coming together. And now we're gonna add our spices and our eggnog. The spices are cinnamon and nutmeg, and we're gonna put some cornstarch in there to firm it up also. Time to add our rum and eggs. I used a dark spice rum. You could also try using a coconut rum or any other flavored rum. And when we're adding our eggs, add them one at a time and beat them at a slow to medium speed. Let's let this cool 10 minutes and then we'll pour our cheesecake filling in. Okay, let's slowly pour this in. Wow. The cheesecake filling tastes so good, I must admit. We are gonna put this bad boy in a 325 degree oven for 55 minutes. Hopefully it won't crack. Cheesecakes are notorious for cracking. Okay. Timer went off at 55 minutes. Just wanna see if there's, no, there's not much of a jiggle. So we're gonna take this baby out. Okay, truth be told guys, you know, I was supposed to put in four eight ounce packages of cream cheese. And you know, it's holiday season, so the cream cheese is coming in two packs right now. And so if you will see on here, right there, it says two eight ounce packages, right on top, two eight ounce packages. Underneath, it says net weight 16 ounces. So I didn't look at the two eight ounce packages. I was looking down here, and this is just one of the packages, but it's labeled 16 ounces because in a two pack, it was 16 ounces. So I actually only put in two eight ounce packages, and I was supposed to put in four because of this error that I made here, because I thought, wow, this is 16 ounces? Okay, well, 
Then I only put two in because they said put four eight ounces, which means two 16 ounces. Uh, my family loved it. It's the next day. I'm just doing this test for you guys. My family loved it. Um, so, hey, it was an okay mistake. It still is very cheesecakey looking. Doesn't look like it's lacking. Um, it would have been higher, obviously, if I had put more cheese in it, but I'm going to try it for you because I only had a little bite last night. I was too full. Mm. It has a great flavor. Now, if you don't like it really cheesy, then only put the two in. If you want a lot more cheese flavor, you want to put all the cheesy um, cream cheese in like you're supposed to. But I personally feel like I'm going to have a little bit of that whipped cream and my crust is nice and thick at the end. The crust is amazing. Super fun crust. Use it for other stuff. Mmm. Superb. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for you. Please subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up. And I would love to hear in the comment section what you're having this holiday season.